peace and love African family. <laughs> peace, love and sunlight. This is Anke Wood from a Jam Towards Africa family. We're there, we're there at Jamrock and because of you guys we're actually expanding Jamrock as you can see the place are under construction just, right now so when you come you're gonna have a dance floor bar this up kitchen this up so when you come Jamrock gonna be a place where you can come and chill and relax and get that Jamaican experience it was kind of so prices. family I'm actually Fabulous. there <laughs> there with my Jamaican oh. Canadian <laughs> no Kenyan even if mom in Kenya family just so, yeah family so we they finish up the KFC so I'm just gonna actually bring them down on my side to show them a school yeah family so we just link up our Jamaican brother who live right there so inside my estate and Julius where I see a like inside here yeah man I couldn't live in here yeah so I couldn't live in here our Jamaican Canadian say you could live inside this estate so we grow in the community and if you're watching this link up with Jam Tours for the tour yeah if you're a family definitely this is the place for you lots of kids in here yeah they can see yeah, yeah 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 they can see all right family let's go we're going to jam right now let's go like share and comment on the video we are out okay. introduce yourself no, julius yeah, no to worry. the people then. thanks yeah i am julius nairi i'm a jamaican canadian and i am in the process of repatriating to africa my chosen land is kenya which is where i'm right now so yeah i am also the founder of a organization called Kudia. It stands for the Coalition for the Repatriation of the Descendants of Enslaved Africans. So the main focus of Kudia is to try and get the right of return for descendants of the transatlantic slave trade to be able to come back to Africa and gain residen residency in a country of their choice. Right now um, to come back here to visit is great, it's very easy. To try and relocate is filled with hurdles. Um, hurdles starting as low as a hundred thousand US dollars in Kenya and going up to five hundred thousand in South Africa so if you want to invest that's the minimum requirements needed if you're coming to retire then most countries you have to at least be making twenty five thousand US dollars out of the country and then you get a permit you can retire but if you plan to come here and make any kind of contribution to whatever country you're coming to you must have that um, investment money ready to go and that's the issue because um, black people are mostly financially disenfranchised in most almost any country we're in right so when they set these exorbitant prices we are the ones that are disproportionately affected by them so Kredia aims to try and remove those barriers yeah family so you guys hear it um all right julia so you know how do you hear about jam tours like you know what i mean well, I found you on the internet, man. You yeah. Know about, the beautiful thing about the internet, and you know, once you start watching something about Africa, mm -hmm. every African YouTuber gonna start come up. And they, the more specific you get, to start watch about Kenya, and mm -hmm. Kenyan Jamaicans in Kenya. Yeah. There yeah. you are. So yeah. that's why I found you on the internet. Yes. Yeah, so all the experience so far with jam tours, taking you around, showing you around. Listen, um, today was was very good. I we went to a couple of schools, so I took me around to a couple of schools. My wife is looking at the school to see where the children will go when they come here and um, I was gonna probably end up living in Nairobi but you took me to a place called Kiambu and I must say that place is absolutely beautiful so I think when I do come back that's where I'm gonna end up so I, I do appreciate you for that for taking me and showing me another side of, of the greater Nairobi area so totally appreciate the service man. yeah 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 family so you hear it guys so you know what I mean so when you come just link up with Jam Tours. We're there at Jam Rock. We are vibe. We are waiting on some other, you know, what I mean, content creators to come, so we can actually share some experience and share some information with you. But when you come, you know, what I mean, link up with Jam Tours. We have everything covered from the relevant information that you'll need. I'm a victim of scam, and I don't want you to come and get scammed. So yes. that's the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm paying it forward. And a lot of, you know, our, our African brothers and sisters in the diaspora, 
them scared of coming back because that's a big problem getting scam is a big problem and that's what we're trying to stop and we're trying to actually you know create a community of honest people so when you come your money can go a long way you have your money too and you don't get scammed out of your, your money you know what i mean so that's what we're trying to do and that's what we want to do so you know what i mean if you've been thinking about moving and coming to africa and you like kenya you can always come link up with jam tours information is here for you you know what i'm saying so any last word julius no man just reach out to jam tours and you're coming and we we'll take very good care of you and please go over to afro jamaican on youtube that's my channel you'll find links there to my to the petition i'm asking you to please sign and share the petition we need at least 5,000 signatures and once I get those 5,000 signatures, I'm going to drive down to Washington DC and I'm going to um, present those, those petitions to each and every African embassy that is in the Washington DC area. And hopefully we can get something moving. We just need one African country to say, yes, guys, come home. And I think the others will start, will slowly, will slowly follow suit. And we need your help. Talk about Korea, talk about repatriation, talk about the right of a woman. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, family. So the link will be in the description of this video. And I want you to watch this video. Go and sign that petition, family. Because, you know what I mean? I feel by the end of this year, we should have that 5,000 um, signature so we can get this process and, and, the, and the whole family. Because this is very important. You know what I mean? And this is something that what we need. You know what I mean? Because, you know, coming back is so hard. It shouldn't be like that. Because Africans, Africa is for Africans, and we should be able to come back. You know what I mean, to invest and help develop the continent. So this is Jam Tours Africa. Like, share, and comment on the video. Now we want to know your thoughts. We want to know what you think about this. Because of this interaction with them, I know it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy at all. It's not easy to come back, right? So even if even if like I go outside, it's something that I'm mentally prepared, and I know that at, at the end of the day I must come back home because yeah. all of them are like, I want to come back home. Let me invest. I want to come back home. That's the song they're singing. Yeah. You, you're you're way freer here than you are free there. You're way freer there, and, and you know even if even if. And trust me, if you if you tell that to, to someone who wants to go. Like, what are you telling me? I know what I'm saying. I want to and, go. And that's okay because that's what they, that's what they see on TV. On TV, right? Yes. yes. I'll give you an example. Let's say you move to you move to Germany. Yeah. And you have children and grandchildren mm -hmm. and great grandchildren. Mm -hmm. They'll never be European. They'll never be German. You might be a German citizen, but I guarantee you, somebody's gonna look at them and go, "Oh, where are you from?" You understand? Yeah. That's not home. This is good. So if you're gonna if you're gonna put your resources into something, put it here. So go abroad, go to the West, but have an exit plan. Invest in your country. And believe me, Kenya is the best place. Kenya is absolutely amazing. Yeah. No. I think I need to maybe you can put it on the net. Let's see. And to my Jamaicans out there who cussing me right now, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Jamaica, ja, listen, Jamaica nice. Oh, by the way, you say, you say people come to here to invest. So when I see Jamaica, you are Jamaican. I'm going to explain to you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully your mic's picking all this up. If I want a two bedroom apartment here in Nairobi, yeah. I will be spending anywhere from six million shillings mm -hmm. to about maybe maybe ninety million mm -hmm. in the high end yeah. for a two bedroom. Yeah. For a two bedroom house in Jamaica, mm -hmm. sorry, six million shillings equates to about sixty thousand US dollars. Okay. Right? Yeah. The Jamaican ship the Jamaican dollar and the shilling are roughly on the same level. That same apartment in Jamaica is going to be two hundred thousand US dollars. Yeah. So it comes down to economics. So it's more than three times more expensive. Yes. Nah, uh, really. Which is from the club. Maybe yours is better. Yeah, family. So we're actually here at Jamrock. The rain have beat down the place and have blow down the place. 
family actually they are with a upcoming youtuber where you see your name again is Anne. Anne. Yes. give yourself a shout out and okay my name is Anne. i'm kenyan and mm -hmm. i'm so happy to meet two jamaicans today <laughs> i'm super super excited i stay and live here in kenya so yeah you can check me out on my youtube as Anne says. Yeah. All right, family. I'll post the link. So, how does it, it feel like to be around Jamaicans? Like, oh. is it your first time, right? Yes, it's my, okay, it's my first time. But at least now I get to interact more with you guys because I've been to that restaurant okay, and I've interacted okay. with them. So I think now I think it feels good. And then knowing like our Kenyans are there, like they have very nice experiences with Jamaica. It's awesome. It's awesome being around them. I feel good. <laughs> How, how did you find jam? How did you find the restaurant? Oh, the restaurant is so good. They have very, very nice food, and it's not we will have fun there. We should. We can. We, can. we just ate though. We were in Kiambu. Oh we just no, you ate. ate. Okay. So they have very good food. I love the rice and peas. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the oxtail. And then the first time I was here, it, it was so good. I came back again. In fact, this week I was here like two days ago. And today I was thinking like I'm supposed to have more, but they're telling me now the kitchen. I don't know what, what, what you're going to You can eat. Do. We'll ha I'll drink a cup of soup. You can eat. That's okay. Fine. Yes, but I love the Jamaican food. But because I've, I've eaten like the same dish twice, mm -hmm. then I'm going to try something else. Okay. okay yes, nice, I'm going nice. to try something else. But the food experience is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. How did you look? Where did you find Jam to? Where, 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 where do you find? Where did you find um, Jam Run on the internet? Yes, on the internet definitely. And but I was doing a collab with a Ugandan because mm -hmm. like, and I'm in Kenya. I want to try different cuisines. Mm -hmm. So like, let us try like uh, other like other different cuisines. So we did uh, Nigerian, mm -hmm. and then I suggested to him uh, we do Jamaican cuisine. So I didn't have this restaurant in mind. Mm -hmm. So I did my research, found okay. it here, and that's mm -hmm. how like, I got to know the place. But I love it. I'm even the like this work in progress uh, mm -hmm. between me and the management of them. So I pray like it's fruitful, and I'm hoping my relationship to Jamaica will be good. Because from the Mwanga, she's like, mm, she really loves Jamaica. And so I'm looking forward to doing business with them, engaging with them, getting to know more about them. I love it so far. I do. So you have yeah. a, so, so maybe in the future you might be a brand ambassador for uh, Jamrak. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I will. I will. There's some things happening behind the background. Okay, I yeah. hope that it bear fruit yeah. and you will be a part of the team. And when we come, we'll see you. <laughs> and you'll bring your friends, bring out all of the Kenya and them. Absolutely. Come out, come yes. actually experience yes. the Jamaican yeah. culture right here in kenya family so you know we are happy to have you guys coming and supporting us and you know and yeah. get get connected with the culture you know and i'm shocked yeah. that there's a lot of like jamaican investors here in kenya because uh two days ago i had a meeting with them and mm -hmm. three of those people like they were jamaicans they like they have five businesses i'm like what so that's good. That's good. Where? Where did you go? Here? Yeah, the restaurant. Okay. The restaurant there. Yeah. Like they have five things they're doing here. They're getting employment for people. So that's a good thing. Yeah. So that's yeah, family. So and we have the man here, Frida. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Frida. Yeah. yeah uh, the, co the collation of uh, the partition um, of descendants, descendants of enslaved of Africans. Africans. So that is it, guys. So you know, I mean, you guys can see that really, you know, as a Jamaican, you know, we always we always want to come back home. Yeah. And you know, once we pick an African country that resonates with us, we want to make it our home. And we really want to come back and invest and help develop the continent. And um, we want you to come and do the same. So for now, we are out. One love. Um, check out our sister channel right here. Go and subscribe. And sister, please subscribe and watch uh, all of my videos. I want to get monetized though. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna put our link. Yes. Um, you need to send me a YouTube link so yeah. I can put it there, so people and, will subscribe. And very soon I'll be in Jamaica. Very, very, very soon. Very soon yeah. yeah. I have to go there and experience what she's experiencing. She has hyped your country. I'm yes, like, yes, hey, yes. She really has. Like right now, I, I feel like every Kenyan YouTube is going there. <laughs> there, there, there. There were quite a few other YouTubers there um, 
last week as well. I know Taya Anna was there, he's mm -hmm. from Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a guy called Arab something that's there as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, a lot of YouTubers are in Jamaica right now. Jamaica is hot right now. Yeah, very, yeah. very, very hot. hot right now. Very yeah. And that's, uh, and family, that's just to show you that, you know, I mean, people want to see Jamaica because, yeah. you know, Jamaica is just a place that, you know, uh, that impact the world and people just want to know more about the people, the food, everything, the culture. So, you know, I mean, so Jamaica is just a place that, you know, I mean, birth a lot of uh, people who actually, you know, you know, put make things happen in the world and um and people really appreciate jamaicans so you know yeah, anywhere they in the world you have to be proud to be a jamaican so let's go